last and final video reading from the book Ask and It Is Given Learning to Manifest Your Desires by Esther and Jerry Hicks The Teachings of Abraham This is called I'm Doing My Best to Make the Best of It I really like this as an ending because it'll give people ideas on how to release anger and how to look at it differently and understand that you're doing the best that you can. Some people have no intention of remaining in the state of anger. If other people knew that your greater plan is to move through your anger and then through frustration, through overwhelm, to optimism, to belief, and onward to your knowing that all is well. They might be more patient where you are right now. There are many people who just naturally move from the powerless feeling of depression or fear into anger as a sort of self-surviving mechanism. When they are met with such disapproval from family members, friends, and counselors with respect to the inappropriateness of their anger, they return to the feeling of powerlessness only to repeat the cycle again and again from depression to anger, to depression to anger, to depression to anger. The key to regaining your wonderful feeling of personal empowerment and control is to decide right now, no matter how good or how bad you are feeling, that you're going to do the best to make the best of it. Reach for the best feeling thought that you have access to right now. And as you do that again and again, in a short period of time, you will find yourself in a very good feelings place. That is just the way it works. If you can get there emotionally, I can get anywhere. So it states, right now I'm going to find the best feeling thought that I can. I'm going to reach for more relief, more relief, more relief. So it states, remember this. Rage gives you a feeling of relief from depression, grief, despair, feel fear, guilt, and powerlessness. Revenge gives you a feeling of relief from rage. Anger gives you a feeling of relief from revenge. Blame gives you a feeling of relief from anger. Overwhelmment gives you a feeling of relief from blame. Irritation gives you a feeling of relief from overwhelmment. Pessimism gives you a feeling of relief from irritation. Hopefulness gives you a feeling of relief from pessimism. Optimism gives you a feeling of relief from hopelessness. Positive expectation gives you a feeling of relief from optimism. Joy gives you a feeling of relief from positive expectations. In time and with practice, you will become very adept at understanding what your emotional guidance system is telling you. Once you make a determined decision to continually reach for the relief that an improved emotion brings, you will find yourself feeling good most of the time and allowing into your experience all the things that you desire. Attention to how you are feeling is necessary in order to understand everything that is happening to you. How you feel and the feeling of relief that you discover as you reach for better feeling thoughts is your only true measurement of what you are attracting into your experience. You can rewind that and listen to it again. Take notes if you wish. Or find the book, Ask and It Shall Be Given. great book
Thank you for watching.